And so we step into, um, as I believe I termed it last battle, uh, amateur hour. Um, where the, the players aren't very, <coughs> aren't very good. I don't quite know why, but whatever. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not gonna say to myself that I'm the beacon of battling. But um, you you'll see. It's a lot easier if you just see it. Maybe you'll agree with me, or maybe you'll think I'm a dick. I don't know. Um, so yeah, he's gonna out on Ninjask, and it's uh, level 99. I don't know why, but whatever. So he's gonna SD, and I'm gonna go Stealth Rocks. And I'm thinking, why did you bring an Espeon if you're not gonna switch into it? I know it's a Tyranitar, but that's why you do uh, so he's gonna go X's. He gets a crit, but sash. So I don't care. And then I crunch, and then I kill the ninjask. And yeah, that was completely fucking pointless. So I get self rocks up, and my least useful guy is gonna die. So yeah, okay. He had a fucking plus two, plus one ninjask, and he wasted it. What a what a bug. Anyway. He's in a bullet punch kill me with a Metagross. I believe it was, what was it, a balloon one? And I'm thinking, oh, I've got Militic. I think the only thing that Metagross can realistically hurt me with is Thunder Punch. Who the hell runs Thunder Punch on a Gross? I don't know. But I go to school and I burn him. I pop his balloon. And there's Thunder Punch. And I'm like, hey! <laughs> and then he parahaxes me. But the thing is, that helps me more than it helps him. <laughs> Which is just funny. So his uh, Gross is looking a bit at this point, and he's just going to explode, and um, given it's due, this does, well, when you consider he's burned and I have multi-scale, I'd say that actually did an okay amount of damage, I don't know, it just seemed like I did an alright amount, but I can rest up, get rid of it, I don't care, I don't know what he's got to really kill me with, but I I'm feeling pretty confident, but he's going to go into Dragonite, and I really wanted a Toxic, but uh, as it turns out, I do get parahacked a bit, and then he has uh, the old lumberry. So um, he's certainly got some uh, pretty pretty potent sets right here, which is bad, as I'm sure you could understand. So um, he DDs up, and then he goes outrage, and um, then I land my toxic, and then I see the lum, and I'm like, ah, oh, ah that's not good. So, um, I suppose at least I got rid of the fact that, you know, he ha he has to get confused at the end of the outrage, but, yeah. So I lose my Militech, and I'm kind of saddened by this, because, yeah. Oh well, life goes on, I suppose. I just like the Militech-Zapdos combo, it works really well. But I'm thinking, fuck it, I'll go on a dog tree. I've got Stone Edge. And then Stone Edge misses. God sake. Ah. Oh, well. Uh, Lord. Hang on. Sorry. Friend is messaging me on Steam. Yeah, so I finally hit me Stone Edge. By the way, I'm astounded I outsped. I don't Maybe he's bulky? Or... Don't sure he's good like that. But then comes the Chandelure and... Oh, if I had my fucking focus sash, this wouldn't be a problem. But he shadow balls me, kills me, and then says, Scarfed. I'm like, really? God, I had no idea. You only outsped a dog trio, so now I'm going to go into Snorlax, and I'm going to curse. Because Snorlax, what did you expect? So he's going to go into Arcanine. I set up my curse, and he's probably thinking, Close combat, oh, I'm going to win. It's like, no, you know. Curse, Chopal, Curse Snorlax is amazing. Ah. Oh. It is one of my, like, the Pokemon of the hour for me. It is a genuinely enjoyable and fairly interesting set, so quite happy with that. My EQ, kill off the Arcanine, Snorlax has still got a fairly well-rounded amount of HP. And, um, yeah, it's looking pretty champion. I, I don't know what he's got, but, I don't know, it sh should be okay. And he's going to go back into his Chandelure. And I'm thinking, I'm a bit perplexed by this. And then he goes Hyper Beam. I don't know, man. I mean, I'm all, I'm all for different shit. Don't get me wrong, but 
Hyper Beam isn't different, it's just retarded. Say it with me. Just, it, it's different, but retarded. There is no benefit to using Hyper Beam unless you're like nasty plot analytic Porygon Z and you feel like trying to kill a Blissey. That's about it. Alright? <laughs> I don't know. That Maybe that's me. Maybe maybe people, you know, are down with the Hyper Beams now, but I know. Even in my wildly loopy and psychotic state, I don't really see the benefit to using Hyper Beam. On, and then he has it again on the S whatever. Anyway, I win. So, yeah. That's a really nice short battle. And, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in a little bit. Peace.